one of the fun things I get to do, partly because I you know, fell ass backwards into money at my Microsoft, is I get to spend my time with a bunch of really inspiring, smart people. And like, who wouldn't do that if they had the opportunity? What I try to be as much as anything is just a dot connector helping people get involved. I've had some small role in getting incredibly talented people like Karen Fries, Daniel Weiss, Brian Arbogast, Bill Gates, uh, more involved in climate and clean energy, and that's really cool. Oftentimes when you say that you work on an environmental issue or you work on climate advocacy, people think that you're telling them to change light bulbs or turn down thermostats or that we have to stop driving our cars. Some of that would be good, but that's not what we're primarily about. What we're primarily about is showing people that there are better ways to produce and consume energy that don't have these devastating effects for the planet. And we firmly believe that solving the climate problem solves a whole bunch of other societal problems at the same time. There's a whole set of actual costs that you don't have to pay for when you buy an electron that was produced by burning a lump of coal. Consequently, things like wind, solar, can't compete with those things. There's not much incentive for a clean energy entrepreneur to try to compete with coal because it's an unfair competition. Coal's not paying its full price. The moment you actually assign a real price to the real consequences of carbon pollution, is the day we'll start producing energy differently and huge amounts of money and ingenuity and effort will flow into lower carbon energy sources. Capitalism is this great engine for innovation. It has great potential to make people's material lives better. Done wrong, it's really, really short term. My hope for capitalism is that we can change the way people think about it to realize it is a tool, we set the rules, we can set the rules to make it have the right long-term benefits for people and the planet.